Yo, what's up guys? It's D-Brown with Trackheads, and I thought I'd bring you guys a real quick video on the two or three things that you can do if you're like a high school athlete and you are trying to get recruited to a uh, to a college program, whether you're distance, whether you're sprinters. It's mainly geared towards sprinters because with distance runners, you can kind of, um, I feel like you guys had a cross country season this year, so... Um, but this is mainly for the, you know, the people who were affected by coronavirus and you weren't able to get like a full season. You didn't run indoor season and maybe had like one or two outdoor meets, if that. Um, and you guys, you know, want any tips about what you can do to gain the interest of a coach um, if you are looking to go the collegiate route when it comes to training and track and field and stuff like that. My biggest suggestion, my first suggestion that I would say would be to utilize time trials. Um, utilize time trials, you know, um, I see a lot of you guys have access to cameras, uh, iPhones, you guys have access, I, I see so many Snapchat, Snapchat videos, so many uh, different things, and I really want you guys, my bad, there's a dog here, I'm trying to make sure, but anyway, you guys have the videos, you guys have cameras, you guys have, you guys have all these uh, different resources that you guys can use, you know, get friends to record you running, get friends to go out with you to the track and I mean if you're practicing why not go out to the track and hit a time trial for a 300 or 200 or 100 um sure they may not be FAT time but they're better than any than nothing you know like if you go out to the, if you're a female right and you're trying to get a scholarship and what you need to get a scholarship is maybe like a 57 and you go out you're training you're working hard and you go out and you do a time trial and you run 58-1 and you send that to your coach that's better than any that's better than nothing you know because um a lot of athletes who were on the radar of certain college coaches did not have a season at all um so if you're showing that you're staying consistent you're running your 58s you're running your 59s uh you're doing the time trials that's needed um to kind of continue to show that you're interested in that particular school, you have a much higher chance of being on the radar of the college coach and them coming to recruit you, even amongst this coronavirus stuff that's going on. So my first suggestion would be to run time trials and record them and, and continue you know, to, to send them to your coaches. Um, my second um, tip would have to be continue to, um, continue to reach out to coaches. You'd be surprised just because you don't hear about a lot of people getting recruited. You're not seeing a lot of the pictures of, you know, kids at their gyms and they're doing this and they're, you know, they have all their coaches behind them and stuff does not mean that these college coaches don't have money. Um, a lot of them, you know, there's a lot of new programs coming out uh, from uh, for track and field. There's, there's some where um, there's some college programs where they're still giving money. Um, under under certain circumstances, you know, um, there's a lot of kids that, you know, they, they may not be going to college because of coronavirus. So there's a lot of money changing hands about who they're giving money to, why they're giving money, where they're giving money, certain locations in which they're giving money. Keep in contact with these coaches because they're the gatekeepers to the funds that you need in order to go to college. So my second suggestion would be to continue to communicate with your college coach. And if you haven't spoken to any college coaches, speak to them. Um, the, the last school that I went to, I got a scholarship. Matter of fact, no, in the, in my first school that I went to, um, it was Savannah state. I got a scholarship in July. Okay. Um, I got a scholarship in July and, um, it wasn't expected for me to go to Savannah state, but I ran a really fast time in the 400 meter hurdles, never ran it before. It was my third time running the 400 meter hurdle time ever. And then I got like top five in the state of Georgia. Uh, for running 400 meter hurdles and I, all of a sudden I got a scholarship. It wasn't a lot, but it was exactly you know what I needed to build off of to get more money. So that's what I would suggest is never too late to get a scholarship and definitely um, you know continue to communicate with coaches so that they can know what you're doing, how fast you're running, what's your situation, training situation, be upfront with them, show that you're an asset to the team. Um, and the third and final thing that I would really suggest is to vlog 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 as you see on my page i'm basically showing you um what you can do at the track go out to the track show the kind of training that you're doing 
because these college coaches are interested in to see what you're doing, you know? Are you going out, like, are you dedicated? Are you going out amongst this coronavirus stuff? Are you hitting up the tracks? If there is no track, are you hitting up the hills? You know, what training are you doing? Because some, some athletes, they were in great shape in February, March. The coronavirus stuff happened and they just sat on their butt for a month, two months, three months, expecting it to just disappear. You know, you gotta be ready. Especially if they're giving you money, they want to see that. What are you doing to get better? Because when you're in the college situation, I want to see what you can do in that situation. Are you going to be one, uh, the person that wakes up six o'clock in the morning to go train? Are you going to be the person that in the evening that goes out and does their second run? That's in the weight room, that's doing all this stuff. So that's the stuff that they look out for. So like I said, the first one is definitely doing time trials, recording them with your friends, uh, posting them, showing them to the coach. The second tip would be um, definitely, uh, you know, emailing your coach, staying in contact. And the third thing would have to be vlogging, showing your practices, putting them on YouTube. If not YouTube, just show them to your coach, show them that you're putting in the work, showing them that you're staying consistent. And those are the three tips that I would say to getting a scholarship, to going to a school in the fall. That's the three things that I would suggest that you do to get that done. All right. It's D Brown with track heads. Y'all stay one track minded practice coming up soon. Check out the new videos. It's D Brown. Peace.